Hey, what's up, guys? My name is David, and most of you know me as Cosmeto. I wanted to talk about something that has been bothering me for God knows how long, and I just wanted to share this with you guys because there's a lot of people out there that think it's something that that's okay and can be just pushed aside as not a big deal, but it is. So long story short, a lot of people will understand this too if they have it. I have chronic ADHD. If you don't know what that is, that is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It's a chronic condition including attention difficulty, hyperactivity, and impulsiveness. And it's it's like, okay, so a person with ADHD has differences in the brain development and brain activity that affect attention, the ability to sit still, and self-control. It can affect the way you act at school, at home, and it can affect how you are with friends. Um, it It's really hard. Sometimes my eyes will be all over the place trying to keep a conversation going, it's hard for me to keep like stay still and focus on just the normal things. Like if I just wanted to get a this, if I wanted to go get a cup a cup of coffee, I will be there probably more than the average person would. I got held back in fourth grade because I was not paying attention at all, and we took medicine for it. And here's here's the crazy part: even if you did take medicine for it, it's it can't be cured. ADHD is not curable. It is something. It can last for years or just be lifelong. It's, it, it's, it sucks. And, um, I, uh, I don't, I don't really know. It's just affected me my whole life. And it's just been, it's just been such a very hard, very hard thing. Because I would be working really hard to do my best and the ADHD would just kick in out of nowhere and I've took medicine for it. I've took medicine for it. I've did the tests and it's just, it's it's not curable no matter what kind of medication I take, no matter what kind of soda I drink that has the caffeine because funny enough, if you drink caffeine, it's supposed to be a sedative for the brain. It's supposed to calm the brain down and it only does it for a short amount of time. Like coffee helps, sometimes soda, but knowing that I'm stuck with this and it made me a late bloomer. I watched my my uh, my my the year that I was in for school. I watched everybody succeed first. They got ahead of me, and I was the late bloomer. I'm 24 years old, and I still have this mindset of like a 15 year old kid. I feel so held back. I feel like. I have to be taught more. I feel like I have to be disciplined more. And it's hard because someone someone with ADHD, it's hard. It's so hard to focus. I'm telling you, it's it's such a struggle. And the one thing that I know that helped me and I thank God every day for this. The one thing that helped me more than anything was two things. Video games and martial arts. It Because it was just a constant moving style. If I tell you anybody that should take martial arts, it's the people with ADHD. If you have any child or a family member that has ADHD, I highly recommend martial arts. I thought it would never work for me when I, like, the more I grew up, but the more, oh, scratch that, forget what I just said. I thought there were things that would never work for me is what I meant to say, but when I, when I did martial arts, it, it changed my life. It helped me so much. It helped me become a better person. It helped me grow faster. It helped me get disciplined more. It helped me react faster. It helped me just stay patient. It helped me with my uh, self perseverance, my growth mentally and physically. It helped me have a positive manner in life. And the video games just was just that little sedative that helped me focus. They gave me good eye hand coordination. It helped me achieve goals because video games are have a lot of um, quests like where you want to achieve something and you do it and they and they compliment you and you do a really good job and that makes me feel good. And the one thing that I think a lot of people with ADHD will understand is sometimes we have to be handheld a lot, and I don't like that. I hate it.
because when you're neglected, your impulses go through the roof and you overthink, you feel insecure. And I'm only saying this because recently there was a situation where a lot of neglect happened today and it's just like a ticking time bomb. I know everybody will have their bad days, but we don't, but the people with ADHD were so constantly moving that it, it's so hard to not stop and just think. And I think about all the people that go through it and it, and people that don't have ADHD, you don't understand how our brains react when we get neglected or negative feedback. We feel like we're just terrible people when we get neglected and 80, and then like we get panic attacks and we freak out and have really fast paced breathing. It's, it's all, it's bad. So what, if you guys understand why I'm trying so hard to work on YouTube videos and it takes a while for things to come out is because I'm struggling with this thing and people think it's an excuse and that's what really bothers me. <laughs> People think it's this excuse that they people can just throw out, oh, I have ADHD, I have ADHD. It's not an excuse. It's a real thing. And people need to understand that it's it's hard. They need to understand that it's really, really hard. And I'm just sharing this with you guys. And, it, and I don't really, I'm not the type to be all crying in front of the camera. But you guys need to, you guys need to know that ADHD sucks. But <laughs> the benefit about it is you are you you have more energy than the average person and uh you have a faster metabolism. So I guess that is a plus, but it sucks. But that's pretty much what I wanted to share this with you guys. So just know if you're struggling with ADHD, just know I have it and it is a big deal for some people. I have it really bad. Medicine doesn't help me, and I'm stuck with it for a while. I don't know how long, but it may be years, or like it said, life, or like I said, lifelong. But if you have it, just know it's. Just keep fighting, just keep fighting. It's gonna be okay. If you you're not alone. It's called a disorder, and it sucks hearing that, but you'll get through it, because I'm here for you too. We're all here with each other. The one thing uh, that I really wanted to add too is, you know, you guys being there for me. Just you guys had. I don't think maybe maybe some of you knew, maybe some of you didn't, but you guys have been there for me for such a long time, and I just want to say thank you so much for just still sticking by me through this. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this. Thank you so much for just constantly being there for me when not many people knew. But it's just thank you guys so much for everything. Still sticking by with me. You guys giving me positive feedback, saying that I can do it, saying that that I that you guys believe in me, like saying that that you you guys have no idea how much my day is made. Would you guys tell me? that you I'm your favorite YouTuber all this stuff it, I, I'm being humble about it absolutely but I don't think you have any idea how much that means to me and not only that when I hear that you guys are smiling and that I that I stop your depression and when I hear that you guys <laughs> that my my happiness and like making you guys laugh is is stops you from hurting yourself it's so crazy to hear and it's just I hear your stories and I read your stories privately and I'm like, oh my god, this is insane. So guys, thank you for having a huge impact on my life because I know I have an impact on you guys. But you guys have no idea how much an impact you've done for me. Without YouTube, I honestly do not know where I would be. But <laughs> thank you so much. I love you guys so much. You guys are really, you guys are so good to me. You guys have so much faith in me, and you guys believe in everything that I do. Thank you for everything, and I love you all. And I promise that 2020 is going to be a good year. It's going to be a year for all of us.
I love you guys so, so much. You have no idea how much I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I love you guys so, so much. Okay. So now I'm going to try to recuperate and get my stuff back together. I'm going to go hug my Sonic pillow for a little bit, but you guys are so great. I love you guys. Happy holidays to everybody. There's going to be videos within this week, but happy holidays. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.